Well, we're continuing our conversation, uh, Dr. Neil Anderson and I, on his new book, Restoring Broken Relationships. And I think we'll continue with 1 John 4.18. Famous verse, perfect love casts out fear. So fear is often at the heart of broken relationships. Yes. You know, I have a previous book on fear, and uh, I thought I really understood that and, uh, and had a handle on it. And if fear is the greatest emotional problem that we have in the world today. I said, but when you talk about total abandonment and the fear that comes associated with that, it's almost like the primal fear. Hell is a place where no love can penetrate. You can be in a crowd and be totally alone. Uh, that was so driven home to me uh, as I was writing something recently about the presence of God that I got a phone call and it was where Joanne is at skilled nursing and uh, the nurse had picked up the phone and dialed for my wife and said, uh, your wife is afraid because she's alone. And I think about that. The nurse is handing me the phone. The nurse is there. And once since she's not alone. There's somebody else in that room. But it isn't alone. You can be alone in a crowd. And there's nothing more utterly frustrating than to be alone in a house where there is no love. I mean, it is like a living hell in one sense. That, that, uh, that this whole community concept of uniting people to God and to each other essentially just truly has that potential to take away that fear. It's like walking through a woods. There's nothing there to be afraid of. But truth again is, is that you're afraid because you're alone and, and somebody shows up. It could be a pet that, that could alleviate that. And sometimes it has to be the right person to do that. Uh, a child is freaking out at camp or at daycare someplace and all the people there are trying to console her, but the only one who can is a parent. Sometimes it has to be the right parent that would show up to do that. Hell, I believe, is loneliness where no love can penetrate. And that's why love is so foundational for how God intended us to live, to love God, to love one another. Because if somebody knows they're truly loved, they can endure an awful lot of issues. I, I remember just recently, and I, I just have to say this thing publicly because my wife has taught me more about discernment and, and to be fully present with one another. And now she has my full attention <laughs> at a time when she really can't even return it back to me. I said, but how important it is to love one another. Mm -hmm. So that, that fear of abandonment, that fear of aloneness, that nobody cares, nobody loves me, nobody commits suicide unless they've given up all hope for love. Mm -hmm. But listen, believer, God will never leave you nor forsake you. If anybody has the right to say that to you, it's God. Yeah. You know, this is why uh, relationships are, are so important, why you feel that emptiness when you have a, have a broken relationship because God meant us to live uh, in love with, with one another. And e even when you know, someone does something bad or difficult to you and you feel like you have every single reason you know, to have that relationship broken off, you still feel this thing crying out and this sense of abandonment, you know, loneliness, even when uh, someone did something uh, to you. And uh, this, this book, Restoring Broken Relationships, is powerful. It'll impact your life. 